When they arrive, we will fetch the patient and you'll be asked to change into a gown and we will go through a series of questions with you. This is to ensure that it is safe for you to receive the procedure. Once we are done with that, we will receive signed consent from you, knowing that it is safe for you to continue. Uh, we will explain everything in detail to the patient so that they know what to expect and even aftercare for the patient. We use all the, uh, the range of uh, uh, tests to diagnose these patients. Uh, we use uh, MRI, CT, plain film x-rays, more as a screening test uh, and then we use ultrasound. Um, those are the, the modalities we generally, generally use. There are other modalities such as PET-CT, which is also uh, uh, isotope studies that we, that we do to try and be more accurate with the diagnosis. But we use the full range of radiological diagnostic uh, uh, modalities. When it comes to safety, it is necessary for us, to, for us to ask the patients certain questions, if it is safe for them to receive an IV contrast, if there is any allergies, or even if they are receiving an MRI, if they have any implants in their body. These things are necessary to ask as it can cause um, complications during the exam. In terms of comfort, it is necessary to communicate with the patient so that we can make them as comfortable as possible and also to ease any sort of anxiety they have or any pain. It is important that we explain to them from the onset what is expected from them and what they can also expect during the procedure. Most of the time cancer patients do require the IV injection, so going through the necessary questions with them and also explain to them what they will feel during this injection is important so they do not get a shock while on the table. Patient concerns when receiving any sort of imaging is one of the main things is radiation. However, we do adjust our protocol so that it gives you the least amount of radiation. One of the other major concerns is with MRI. A lot of patients are claustrophobic, however, communicating with the patient also during the procedure can really ease them.